This week on Black, White, Red All Over, we have read, reviewed, and now we're going to recommend some amazing books to you. Uh, we've got a full yeah, slate here. This week was ridiculous, and this Ooh. isn't even all the books that came out. We just ran out of space. Jeez. Well, without any further ado, let's talk some comics. Welcome to a brand new episode of Black, White, and Red All Over. I'm Victor Dandridge, the hardest working man in comics. Ryan Seymour, King of Comic Town here in Columbus, Ohio, with one of the biggest yeah. weeks we've had in forever ridiculous. in terms of number of titles. Literally ridiculous. We are, like, what, mid-July. Mm -hmm. No specific reason. Like, yeah. it's not like, oh, it's a liquidation sale of Diamond or whatever. Like, there's just a lot of books. And you said it yourself. Like, we didn't have that, space yeah, for everything? that's not everything. There are 64 facings up there. Wow. All different titles. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. there's still stuff that didn't make it. So there's a lot of good stuff. Yeah. And in order to help you out, we've actually read quite a few of them. And we're going to make some recommendations yes. to you now. So of our good reads that you should read. These are the ones that if you have a couple extra dollars, mm -hmm. you should consider bringing these home with you. Because yeah. they're pretty good. Um, we've got two that are the same. Yes. One is different. Where do you want to start? Uh, why don't you start me off with Spider-Man? Done and love done. Love me some Peter Parker. <sighs> Peter Parker is doing some wonderful things in this book. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so Zeb Wells, Ed McGinnis, um, Mark Farmer, and Marcio Minez. I hope I'm doing that right. Um, okay, so we're carrying things over post Doc Ock is mm -hmm. back. Okay, Doc Ock is back. He's got an upgrade. He's got new tentacles that break apart. They're super it's really, cute. really, really, really cool. Cute. He's got a He's got a bone to pick, okay? Mm -hmm. He feels like there is something missing. Okay. Uh, a place, a memory, a concept, something like that. He's taking it out on Norman, and I think, this is me speculating, mm -hmm. I think he doesn't remember the Superior Spider-Man era. Well, he might not. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. And so if that hole is there and he's trying to fill it, yeah. I feel like there is something that, that, that could be a very jarring revelation, yeah. if you will. And Otto is already in a place where he's not feeling the most secure. Mm -hmm. He feels like Norman Osborn is kind of the, the root of it. And so he's gone after Norman. And, woo, it's colorful. It's colorful. This is a very, like, character-driven piece. I mm -hmm. really like it. Yeah. You know, you get a lot of stories with Spider-Man. You're like, oh, it's, it's web, web, yeah. punch. Nah, this is, this is heartfelt. And you're almost like, even in his badness, mm -hmm. Otto's not wrong. Something, yeah. Something's up. Which is when it's the best storytelling. Yeah, yeah. So, highly recommend this one. This was a beautiful piece. Alrighty. From Image Comics, mm -hmm. Jeff Lemire and pretty much Jeff Lemire. Okay. Uh, Fish Those creepy goodness. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's it's a it's a massive book. It's square bound. Yeah. It's five ninety nine. Uh, it is all comic. There okay. Is, there are no advertisements or anything in it. Love that. Uh, so I. I this is one of those things like when you go out of the Midwest mm -hmm. and you find out other people don't know about fireflies, and it's kind of weird where you're like, how do you, like, lightning bugs? Mm -hmm. Like people don't know about? Them? Yeah, there are people that like because they're not there. So this is one that I'm wait, curious. really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's weird. Okay, all right. Never, never thought about that. Yeah, it's weird. They're like these are a type of fly. Yeah, that only show up every once in a while, and they're in masses, just like ridiculous quantities like biblical plague level <laughs> these things are and it's something that like down in tennessee near land between lakes where my my grandparents are from yeah you know we've experienced them they'd be covering the streets covering everything you'd have wow. to like move them out of the way and they're just they're just nasty it's just chittering all right so during one of these fish fly infestations yeah these kids just want to go and they want to buy some popsicles that's just what they're gonna do they want to go to the convenience store okay things go horribly wrong and a kid gets shot oh so now, the villain, the person that did the shootation, has been infected with something. Oh. Trying to. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So he's trying to get someplace safe. All the, oh, no. Yeah. A wave of fish flies. And they ain't no normal fish flies. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. So, like, there's some, like, Kafka metamorphosis esque judgment that's being handed okay. down. And a very creepy kid who's his guide. Just Okay. So. Yeah. Fish flies. I said lightning bugs, not lightning bugs. They're more like mayflies. Oh yeah, no, but yeah, these things. Yeah. It, okay. They're disgusting. Okay, no, you're absolutely right. Cause okay, 
when I would go to <laughs> so church camp uh, <laughs> up at uh, Lake Erie, yeah, they would be all over the yeah. 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 Okay, these things are those things are wicked, man. Yeah. They look just terrifying. Mm-hmm. You just look at them, and you're yeah. right, biblical. Yeah. Mm. So very, very okay, cool. okay. That's I touched that book. Okay. Ugh. Um. You know what? <laughs> no, no. Let's let's do the hunger in the dusk. Yeah, because it was really really solid. It was. It really was. I I grabbed it totally on a lark. Mm-hmm. Um. IDW. The thing that made me get it was the IDW original. Yes. So this is essentially create create our own. Yeah. Is that as far okay. as I understand it? Yeah. That was my my take on it. So we've got uh, G Willow Wilson, mm-hmm. um, whose name alone. Just yeah, that reading. was that was me picking up. I got that's you. that's why. Yeah. See, I started down at the bottom. I was like, yeah, oh, sure. And then, oh, gee, Willow. Yeah. Okay. Um, Chris Wild Goose, phenomenal. Yeah. Um, and Masasic, Masasic. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Immediately off rip, Game of Thronesian mm-hmm. level um, political sort of setup. Yeah. Right. So it's it's medieval, um, old world. We've got orcs. We've got humans. Yeah, something else. Something else for sure. Mm-hmm. Um. There's conflicts. There's all these different things that they've yeah. set up really well. And I say they because this is a collective piece. This isn't yeah. just the story is written, the story is drawn, like all of it together, really, really well done to set these things up. Um, I'm curious where this is going. Because, yeah. I mean, do you have any beads on how long of a series this is? I think it's a miniseries, but I could be wrong. No, it can't be a miniseries. Yeah. There's is, so much world to explore. There's a lot here, like so much to build into and get like meat and potatoes mm-hmm. about. Um, you've got factions, you've got people that you could have spinoff series mm-hmm. galore. This, I hope, is dare I say, an ongoing. Like I want a hundred issues. It'd be, it'd be amazing. Yeah, yeah. You've got the dwindling resources that these two main cultures are having to struggle through. Right. Something that unites them. Right. Well, I, I guess ish. Ish. Yeah. An uneasy alignment. Right. And just good characterizations. Yeah. You got some some magic powers. Like this is this is D and D worthy. Mm-hmm. Like I expect games out of this, miniatures. You can totally do that. Like all of the things. So this was a really fun surprise because it's not even normally my bag to yeah. read. So but no, really, really cool. And one of the things I one of the things I dug is the orcs aren't stupid. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like they're highly intelligent. Right. Their culture is it, it really They're tough, but they're like Klingons. I was just about to say that. Right? Oh my god! Really? Yeah. So yes. Big Klingons. Yes. That's it. That's such a perfect analogy. This is early Star Trek, mm-hmm. but in medieval times. So there you go. Oh, Dark Knights wow. of Steel for Star Trek. We just did. read it, okay? Yeah, just, like that's. I don't yeah. even know. Like, could we say anything better than that? I was so about to say Klingons. That's almost creepy. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Our last one on the good read you should yeah. read, and this one is tough because we we are critical of this whole storyline for mm-hmm. different reasons. Ryan, as a store owner, is is critical for one reason, yeah. and me as a creator, I'm critical for a different reason. Um, but we took on uh, Dawn of DC Night Terrors number one. This is the actual kickoff of the series yeah. that we had like a slew of books from last week as well. Yeah, it's just weird timing on that. Really just weird make timing. The, make First Blood issue zero. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. So here is our our actual estimation. <clears throat> this was initially pitched as a Justice League Dark storyline. Yep, that's what we feel, right? Somehow, editorial got wind of it and was like, "Oh, what we could do." I, like, I almost feel like Josh Williamson over pitched and was like, "Oh, we could we could touch this and we could touch this." And they're like, "Oh, we should make those into whole series pieces unto themselves," which is. It's too much. It is. It's too much. The sections of the story that focus on the Justice League Dark members Mm -hmm. excel. Yeah. Yeah. It fits perfectly. Which is why we came to that conclusion. So this, I think, will be known forevermore as the lost Justice League Dark story arc. Mm -hmm. Like, because there's something, like, it's there. It's Mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Right? Like, if that's not it, it is now. It's headcanon. That's what we're going with. Because that is better than what we're kind of experiencing yeah. with this because the story is so <clears throat> how do i put that it, yeah. i don't know yeah because it, it's it, it, there's something that it's just off there's yeah something like you're trying to remember your grandma's recipe for chili mm-hmm. and it's mm-hmm. just something different. something's not there right like you're using too much of something too little of something else you're not quite sure what but you know it don't taste like granny made it 
and that's the issue. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say that if this was a Justice League mm -hmm. Dark series, now let me ask this question, just because yeah. fair game, right? How well did Justice League Dark as a series sell? Pretty decently. Uh, I would say 50 to 75% of Justice League numbers, depending on the run okay. and, and whatnot. Because I was gonna I was gonna argue like maybe the reason why they went for this arc is because Justice League Dark as a as a series didn't move as well. Yeah. So while the story was phenomenal, placing it with that banner wouldn't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm curious. Yeah. Did you guys read Justice League Dark? I know I didn't really read much of it because I, I wasn't of the horror ilk yeah. of, of the DC line. So I'm curious. Let us know below yeah. if that was something that you would have read. I'm just I'm curious. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're going to take a quick break. Yep. When we come back, we got the must-reads, the things that you have to have mm -hmm. as part of your go-home list. Yep. Okay, here we go. And we're back. We got even more books to check out for you guys. Yeah. Uh, these are the must reads, okay? So these are the ones, top dollar. If you have any money whatsoever, you go into the shop to grab these books and you go home with them and you read them and you love them forever. These are your preciouses. Mm -hmm. um, of this bunch, we yeah, have two that are the yep. same. Okay. So please start us off with the X Men Days of Future Past Doomsday. Oh Please. my gosh. All right. So people sometimes forget yep. Days of Future Past, the original stuff, was mm -hmm. two issues. It was only two issues. No, that was bigger than that. Right? It was so, so much bigger. bigger. And it was so good. Like, in yeah. reality, it was amazing. It was like one of the most iconic X Men Absolutely. stories. So when you put a banner like that on, I'm like a little little resident. Of course. Like, is this going to be, or hesitant, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. what, what's it going to be? But we've got creators, we've got Guggenheim. Right. We've got Garcia, Smith, and Nitro. Okay, right. okay. So that is some serious top tier yeah, talent yeah. we got on it. Um, it. What I love is the pages are actually like the high gloss pages. Oh. Which is something Marvel doesn't do all no, the time. No, that's shiny. They put it in. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the art is really really cool it's reminiscent of old school x-men it stuff. is classic right it's so cool and we introduced some new characters which might be a speculative thing might not okay be a thing, okay but this is brutal this is wait are we like seeing how the x-men are go oh. yeah this is yeah it it opens up with your 28 after yeah after everything starts okay okay and it tells the story that's the image, though. Wait, wait, you gotta go back. Like, yeah, that right there. Right. If there, are, when you have profile pictures on a poster, you already are like, that's what this we're, is. We're there. Yeah, and it is absolutely phenomenal. There's like an Alan Davis vibe to the art. Very. Um, and it, it takes into account some stuff that wasn't really in the first one. Right. Why? Why draw the line at mutants? Oh. Why wouldn't Fantastic Four? Right. They've got right. Superpowers. That's why a, let them it's off? like a mutation, mm -hmm. right? And this book pulls no punches. Oh. This book and this miniseries doesn't take place in the, in, in, in the 616 or okay. Marvel, like, usual stuff. That's dope. And as a result, they can go all out. And this Google creative things. team. Yeah, this creative team does it. And does it well. And, and not even Yeah. And not in, like, an edgelord sort of, like, you know, I'm going to shock you to shock you, but what these characters would actually do when they're pushed to the limit. I mean, it makes sense. Right? It makes sense. And, oh my gosh. It is it is so good. So if you're if you're a fan of old school X Men nice. stuff and you're like, oh you know, I you know, I, I really love Days of Futures Past and mm -hmm. I wish they would do something like it again. Or if you're looking for something more uh Ultimate X Men the early stuff. Okay. 
Okay. This. That this is solid. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. And yes, it's the X-Men as the main focus, but it's the rest of the Marvel Universe that's right. involved as well. I think that's really cool, too, because in the original series, we had, like, peripheral instances of mentioning other people, mm -hmm. like Franklin Richards. Yeah. Like, but he still would qualify as X-oriented based on his mutant status at yeah. the time. So to see how the rest of the MCU kind of got down with that, what happened, yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's really kind of cool. Um, okay, so my other one is World's Finest Teen Titans. <clears throat> Mark Wade. Mark, okay. If Mark Wade is not campaigning to be editor in chief of DC Comics, mm -hmm. I need to understand what he actually is doing. Right. Like, because you can, you can write all of this, and that's cool, but if you're not aiming to be like, let me tell you where the company should be going. I don't understand why you're doing yeah. this much. Because what all is he writing right now? But World's Finest, mm -hmm. Shazam. Yep. He's got this series now. Yeah. Like, he's touching all the things. Yeah. And they're phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, <clears throat> this is kind of a updated Titans for today. Yeah. You still got the core team, right? So, you've got Wonder Girl, you've got Robin, Speedy, Kid Flash, Aqualad. But you also have Bumblebee, who yeah. was not a core member but it works. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you could say like, oh, diversity. Kind of a necessity here, right? Because in the scope of things, there wasn't a lot of diversity, yeah. okay? Like, there was one girl on the team, one. Okay, now we have two, and the other one's a person of color. Yay, the only person of color. Yeah. Yay, like all the things. So, <sighs> this is the thing that's interesting though. If you are a fan of the latest, longest lasting iteration of Titans, mm -hmm of Teen Titans to be specific. Um, this is gonna be different, right? There is no Starfire, there's no Beast Boy. That's not who started it, right? There's no Cyborg, that's not who started it. There's no Raven, that's not who started it. You had Robin, Robin was the core. And this is at a point where, because the team is so new, the rules that Robin has been trained with, mm -hmm. he's trying to still, you know, be Robin, but still be cool with the team. But those two things, there's a clash there. Yeah. You know, you have the most anti-social superhero of all time, raising a young protege and then that kid's supposed to be on the team comfortably it's gonna be tough real tough. It's gonna be tough real real tough so what's interesting is i've, I've got questions mm -hmm. that aren't answered here and i don't want to ask and give it away but i'm curious as to who all of these folks are okay if they are who we think they are or are they i don't know um so yeah this was this was a lot of fun though very updated very modern the mark put the, the term sus in there and it worked. It shouldn't. Mark is older than I am, okay? So him saying sus should not work. It did. He did his research. He found a way to, to ask the question, how do I say this for you guys? And someone was like, oh, yeah, no, that sounds sus to me. And he's like, sus. And it worked. It really did. So <clears throat> highly recommend capture that. It's, it's silver agey, but modernized. Really good. Yeah. Tip top. Please. Okay. Sirens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is this was an interesting one. This is one most stores were not supposed to receive. Okay. Issue number one, cover A, but Diamond shipped out somewhere they could. Oh. So if you don't see cover A's where your shop is, yeah. it's it's whatever they tell you is totally true with Diamond. What do we know which cover is? We which? did. We got them all. Oh, okay, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> hey, come to comment down. Um. Okay, so I'll keep it a million. Mm -hmm. The thing that got me that I was like, yes, I'm checking this out. Mm -hmm. Kari Randolph, like without question, yeah. one of my favorite artists mm -hmm. of all time. As a storyteller, he is phenomenal and just, yes. So that was already like, well, I'm reading this um, because he's got such a, an amazing style. Yeah. Hints of anime manga influence, but not like so overpowering that you can't enjoy it without it, yeah. right? Like you don't have to be an anime head to enjoy what he does. Um, and also a black creator. So if you are looking for diversity in terms of voice and tone and creatives, here you go. And the characters. Yes, yes. There's lots a of diversity within the characters. Lots, lots and lots. Um, what I do want to point out is in terms of creativity of style, this is to affect a black and white book. Mm -hmm. There's color uses, yeah. accents, and it is beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Think Sin City. Yes, yes. Black and white and then splash of red, splash yep. of blue. And it's not just for effect, it's also coding, so yeah. you know. Certain things. Yeah, mm -hmm. it took me a while to pick up on that, because I'm not like the brightest, but I'm like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
But every time we see this, it does, oh, oh. Interesting. So, okay, conceptually, <sighs> mythic beings in the inner city. I think that's about yeah. what I can say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mythic beings in an inner city um, interacting amongst the populace mm -hmm. and they have their own culture and you know you <sighs> yes yeah yes the setup of things was really fun mm -hmm. really really yeah. fun and there's different factions because i i'm still not sure that they the faction lines break down on mythical creature types i agree like it, i think it's ideological mm. and they're you know maybe most of the group will be a particular type right but not necessarily not necessarily yeah some of them will have other interests mm -hmm. and that will force you know an alignment they're in because of that yeah which makes it so much more fun than like all right i apologize for making this this analogy like twilight where it was always the werewolves had you know werewolf stuff and the vampire said it's not like it's not it's it's ideological not you just super massive black holed me right there i wasn't yeah. Out of all things for you to say, I was not prepared for you to go oh, Twilight. Trying, Good right. job, though. Yeah, I was Good trying job. to think of, like, all right, what's a movie that has no, a no, bunch it of works. monsters that are different types? It totally works. But, yeah, like, I mean, this is this is structured in a way that is is heartfelt. The yeah. thing that I love the most about it is it takes place in the 80s. Yeah. So you already have my heart because it's, like, an amazing time of change yeah. and development and voice and culture. And then you have this added into it. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Like as much as I love the comic setup of this, mm -hmm. I hope there are plans for like a, a young adult novella series. I would love to give this to my yeah. daughter to just read the written word and see what yeah. kind of poetry pulls out of that because that's a lot of cool. Yeah, a lot of world building, a lot of cool. So, um, Kari, if you if you're watching and you should be, um, those are my suggestions, man. Like you guys kick ass on the the comic side. Give us a little bit more. Give us some novellas little fill-in stories, whatever. I want more of this. Yeah. Like, please. Please and thank you. <sighs> right. So this this one for me, because I was like, you know what, I want to... I Because I, I read a lot of stuff that wasn't superhero this yeah. week. Just for whatever reason, I just I just didn't. And I was like, you know what, I want something superhero-y. Mm -hmm. um, I love Christopher Priest. Mm -hmm. I, I love all the other issues of Superman Lost that I've picked up. <clears throat> I was once again satiated. Yeah, yeah. This is taking superheroes and elevating. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to be crazy to say it, but it's absolutely true. To traumatize Superman is to do the unthinkable. Mm -hmm. You are breaking the unbreakable. Yeah, how do you do that? He's, he's physically invulnerable. Right? He Morally incorruptible. Yeah. Like you can't shake the man. Sort of. Um, <laughs> there's other stories where you might it, might change that. It, yeah. But, like, this dude is broken. Yeah. Like, he's still got all his powers. He's back home with Lois. Yeah. But he's not. But he's not. Like, he is light years away. Like, a million light years away. Um, what a... Okay, so this is one of those times where I would say Superman's greatest weakness here is knowledge. Not what he doesn't have, but what he does have. Mm -hmm. The things that he knows have absolutely set him up for failure. Yeah. Like, wow. The, like, I don't know, I don't think anyone else other than Priest could have done this, where you make Superman's whole experiential presence the problem. Yeah. Because everything that he knows, and he's like, oh, if I, if, oh, you're this. You're, oh, this yeah. is great. No. Yeah. That's what you know. Is not what there is to know. Yeah. And, oh, brilliant. Those little guys are my favorite. Yeah. They, they are the worst, best villains of all they're time. They're amazing. Super honest. Like, you got to respect their honesty. Yeah. You're like, eh, maybe. I don't know. Probably. One of my favorite things about Carlo's art. Yeah. Is the subtle facial. Like, like there's a look in here mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. is rendered just so. It says a lot. It, yeah. It says a whole lot. And you know what's what's crazy is. Would you would you fault him if he put the man before the super? Because it's been eight years. It's been eight years. Would you fault him? 
that's got to be what something that's going through his head. It's got to, it, right? It has to because you're you're in a place in the, in the galaxy mm -hmm. that you have no clue where you're at at all. Everybody that you're with that theoretically would have the knowledge or the ability to f figure out, right? Can't. Right. What's worse is considering the temporal anomaly that took you across the, the universe. You don't even know what time it is. You have no idea. Like, it could be a thousand years. Like, you could yeah. be holding out for someone who hasn't existed for, like, a whole series of centuries. Yeah. You don't know. You don't know. That, that is how you get to the core of attacking Superman. Mm -hmm. Like, man. And that's not yeah. even, like, the, the context of the story. It's, yeah. got no, it's just us, like, thinking, like... There was a moment. Yeah. Did he? Mm. Yeah. Like, it, is he still the best of us? Or, like, does it matter? Does like, it? It's, does it's it? a different situation. It's a totally different situation. It takes me back. There's a there's a story where him and Wonder Woman are fighting, like, in a thousand-year <laughs> war. Yeah. And, like, before the final battle, battle, Wonder Woman's like, like, yo, it's possible. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it, it's better to fight. On an empty, you know, and he's like, I can't. I still love Lord. Like, I respect it. Yeah. It's crazy. I'm like, yo, it's Wonder Woman, sir. <clears throat> it's Wonder Woman. But okay. Yeah. But, you know, like, this is a far more detrimental concept here. Yeah. Like, this is this is brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. So, oh, book of the week, for sure. Like, grab that, pick that up, read it, feel it. Yarn. Yeah. I don't want... I do not want James Gunn to use this as any context for what he's doing with Superman. Yet. Yeah. Not yet. Yeah, not, not yet. No, this is... You You thought that, like, Zack Snyder's Superman was a little mopey? No, this dude... <laughs> this this kal -El, mm -mm. he... Mm -mm. I, therapy's not enough. No, no. John is... John's gonna have to go and be like, let me just take these memories. It, yeah. Let me just... I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna hold these, and I'm gonna put these over here. We're not even gonna, we're not gonna touch yeah, them. Those don't, those don't exist. Yeah. Yeah, no. No, it's good. It's fine. It's fine. Whew. Okay, we read some amazing books. We hope you've got some amazing mm -hmm. books. Please let us know. What's your list? What did you take home that was your must-read this week? We want to know. Yeah, and like we said, there are that many books this week. So we many. may have missed something. So many. So let us know. Hopefully we did. Like We want all the books, yes. right? All the great comics should be coming out all the time, every week. That's what we want. That's what the industry needs. So yes! Mm -hmm. <sighs> so next week... We gotta figure it out. We gotta figure it out, man. Big game drops. Yeah, yeah. And that's gonna be humongous, big. Huge, huge. The problem with next week is, I'll I'll take the blame. I'm gonna be at San Diego Comic Con, so I'll be heading to the West Coast, and the time frames of things is just it's it's tricky. It's tricky. So, yeah, I don't think, but we'll see. We'll figure something. We'll figure. We'll figure something. Okay, we'll figure out something. If you enjoyed this episode, though, click that thumbs up. Definitely hit that. Let mm -hmm. us know that you liked it. Share it with all the people, okay? Tell all the people that this is the best comic review show on the interwebs because it is. It is. It's kind of, we're not bad. Yeah. We're yeah. not half bad. Yeah. We're cute, too. What's mm -hmm. up? Yeah. <laughs> uh, my best years are behind me. <clears throat> and we... What? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, check this out. What? What? Uh -huh. what? <laughs> yeah. And subscribe if you want to yeah. see this type yeah. of stuff all the time. Week. All the time. Hopefully next week we'll work on it. But weeks after that, absolutely. Absolutely. We'll be there ready to read mm -hmm. with all of you. We'll see you guys next week.